What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa. In the last episode, we were told the, uh, the dark, dark game we have to play, and completed the prologue. Now we're in Chapter 1, we passed out because we were punched by Owada, and, uh, gotta figure out what the heck is going on, where everyone is, what we can do, etc. So, let's, uh, let's start by investigating this room quite a bit. Uh, first of all, we got another TV, it appears. A TV screen here. Mm, okay, what's on the table? This is the room key. So, I'm in my room. Okay, makes sense. This one looks bolted, or not quite bolted. Looks like iron plates have been rigged to the walls. Oh no, it's just a little bit protruded from the wall. There's a camera. Shocker. It's irritating, but the rules say we're not allowed to break the camera, so... Nothing we can do. Fitting. Um, is this the plate as well? Yep. Same deal. What is this? It's a notepad. This came with the room, didn't it? Can we use that for something? It's like a hotel room. What is that? Oh, I can use my... Holy cow. All the observation. I'm gonna check out the drawers then first. There's something in the drawer. A, like a tool set? It's brand new. The plastic seal appears unbroken. Well, either way, I'm not gonna use it now, so I'll put it back. Okay, but it's probably something worth noting. What is, what's this? A lint roller. <laughs> Cleaning's on me, it seems. Okay. Um, and then we can check out the bed. If you know what I mean. Um, it's a bed. There doesn't appear to be anything out of the ordinary here. Okay. Can we scroll up or down? I don't know. What else is there? There's the door. This trash can. This is like Pokemon. Are we going to find some leftovers? It's just a regular old trash can. No trap doors or hidden compartments here. Cha-ching! What is this? What did I just find? Is that some sort of currency? Okay, I can't go to the right anymore, or left anymore. What is this? Let's check this out. A sheet of paper has been stuck to the wall. It says, An important message from your headmaster, Monokuma. Room locks have been equipped with an anti-picking mechanism. The keys are a bit of a pain to make, so please don't lose yours. Every room comes with a shower, but beware. Water is shut off during the nighttime. Only the showers in the girls' room are equipped with a lock. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> is that just like, you're assuming that the girls wouldn't want to peek at the guys. It's only going to be the guys. Lastly, I've prepared a modest gift for each of you. A ladylike sewing kit for my female students and a masculine tool set for my male students. The sewing kits include a pressure point diagram, a single thrust is all it takes, ladies. Oh my gosh. So basically providing a, a needle as like a weapon. And where to put it? Solid swing to the top of the head. Holy cow. Don't think, feel, and let's all have a killer time. Oh god, these puns. I crumbled the paper and tossed it in the trash can. Um, so there's this door here. Is there a, can I observe the plant? No. Okay. This looks like the door leading out of the room. It seems to be affixed with a lock. A room with a lock, huh. Shocker. I think that's all we can look at for now. Yeah, I think so. Alright, so let's see if we can head out. This looks like the shower. Rattle, rattle, rattle. It won't open. I guess it's locked. Wait, I thought only the female showers had locks. Interesting. Okay. This is one of the bedrooms in the dormitory area. Oh, I hope passing out in the gymnasium didn't count as sleeping there. What's everyone else doing? There's only one way to find out. I'd at least, like, bring the tool set with me, you know? Like, I'd rather be armed and, like, ready in the event I need it, but... Um, we'll see. <laughs> We're gonna hope for the best. I stepped out of my room to look for everyone else, and waiting for me on the other side of the door was a situation like you might see in an old manga. <laughs> Don't tell me they're already trying to kill each other. Oh. We got our, uh, <laughs> our cute little idol. My zona -san. Oh, I can actually understand the Japanese. <laughs> so cute. Slightly embarrassed smile rose to her face, and she slowly brought herself to her feet. I feel like my zona -san could be, like, super cute to the point where, like, you, like, lower your guard around her and the chance of killing you. Are you sure you're all right, my son? You're not hurt, are you? You're being melodramatic. A little bump like that's no big deal. It may not look like it, but I'm actually pretty tough. It's all that dancing around I do on stage. Well, that's good to know. What about you, Nagi? Does it still hurt? Oh, where Owada hit you? <laughs> Probably. They want everyone else. You know how much of a loser I am. <laughs> so yeah, why would she come to our room? Aw, you're so caring. Even better. I was wondering if you'd join me in the cafeteria. The buddy system is a good thing to do in this uh, despair academy. 
split up and look around. We thought we'd cover more ground individually. We agreed to meet up later and share what we found. So it's almost time for that. I feel like this could actually... No, they can't really kill each other if there's more than one person around... More than one other person around. Unless you kill everyone else. Okay, so we're supposed to go to the cafeteria. Oh, I, I like that little artwork. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Nagi. Where are we? Okay, so we can see where everyone's individual rooms are. Is that like a garbage room? Um, okay. There's a clothing room, swimsuit room, maybe? I don't I don't know, we'll find a whole bunch of stuff. So we're supposed to meet at the cafeteria, it seems, so let's go over this way. Is this the cafeteria? Maybe? Possibly? Can I not go in here? Okay, no, I can't. <laughs> I was like trying to just walk in and I forgot I had to like hit X. I love the way they set up rooms like that. So this is the cafeteria. I'm glad to see that it's well kept. But this is the time for that. <laughs> or this isn't the time for that. We are still trapped here after all. Yeah, you're right. As far as I can tell, nobody else has arrived yet. So I guess we wait? You're right, we'll just have to wait. Whoa. Who heard? You heard that? Of course. That's right. Wait, that's the second time she's done that. Her intuition is so good. No, she's got to be a mind reader. Time for a tutorial. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the REACT system. We were planning to initiate a conversation with Miss Sayaka Maizono, were you not? When you talk to her, you are going to see a couple of purple phrases like this one. When these purple phrases appear. Press the triangle button to enter REACT mode. Select a phrase using the D-pad and press the X button to inquire for further information. This is the essence of the REACT systems, reacting to things your partner says. Please enjoy your new life in the academy. REACT! That <laughs> seems you're a quick study. Wonderfully done. The <laughs> skilled use of this technique will allow you to progress in your relationships. I mean, the story. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, um, okay. There's a, I want to observe all these things before I talk to Saga, because I feel like that's going to be the most fruitful. Security camera. I should think we're being watched by those things. Uh, I feel like, is that going to be the same each time? What are those things? It's got to be some sort of currency. Um, what else was there? I'll check the door, actually, after talking to Sayaka, because I don't want to... Come on. Let's see, the current time is, what, it's 7 at night? You're out for a really long time, Nike. <laughs> she isn't kidding. We only have three hours until it's considered nighttime. Yeah, with no windows, it's got to be difficult. Although, are those not windows over here, or is that just, like, painted on the wall or whatever? Anyways, let's talk to, uh, Maizono. By the way, Nagi, yes? Picking up where our introductions left off, there's something I was wondering. React! <laughs> that sound effect is so cool. Um, where our introductions left off. We were interrupted back there, and I still have something I want to ask you. She has a question. Will you go out with me? <laughs> if only. Let's find out. Yes? I think I'm wearing... Oh, so I've already, like, looked into that branch now? Something I was wondering. Is it... Are you by any chance a sixer? What the heck is that? Nekuro, six junior high class two. Yeah. Oh, did you guys go to the same grade school? I was in class four, though. Did you know? Oh, this is cute. <laughs> Even in middle school, she was so super, super duper famous. Couldn't possibly have not known her. But the thing that surprised me most is that she remembers me. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> He's the exceptionally average guy. We weren't in the same class. We never really talked to each other. Something the matter? I was just surprised. I didn't think you'd remember me. Of course I remember you. We went to the same middle school, didn't we? But it's not like I remember every single person from my middle school. Actually, if I saw some people, I might be able to. But, like, only within a class or two of me. But a ton of people went to our middle school. And there's nothing all that noteworthy about me. The most average of the average. Ordinary to a cliché cliche degree. Oh my gosh. Cliché degree. Not cliché degree. A fan of most anything ranked number one. Oh, you. What are you talking about? You're so silly, Nagi. What? How am I silly? She's reading our mind. Couldn't come up with any way to describe it other than amazing. So nice to find out there's someone I hear I know. Somehow just talking to you, Nagi cheered me up, right? Or cheered me right up. Wonderful. Nah. <laughs> You're the one who cheered me up. Gave me courage. Not anyone else. Aw, this is cute. I like this. <laughs> I'll be your super duper high school sidekick. What? Are we gonna have like a partner, like a teammate? 
whatever I can to help. So let's make it out of here together. Hearing my son say that makes me feel like I can do anything. <laughs> Everyone sure is taking their time, huh? Should be here soon, I hope. No sooner than she said, the door to the cafeteria swung open. If it isn't Nike and my Zono. So the two of you were at the head of the pack, huh? And here I thought I was. Or here I thought I was first. What a disgrace. It's alright, Ishimaru. Just goes to show that I'm not trying hard enough. But I won't give in. Next time my victory is assured. Justice always prevails. <laughs> anyway, it's not that big of a deal. It's just getting early for a meetup. Not long after that, one after another, the remaining students gather in the cafeteria. Just after a few minutes, everyone had finally arrived. Yes! They use the word post haste! That reminds me of Luigi's Mansion with EGAD! He uses post haste. <laughs> Just that we can together and make known unto us all the fruits of our investigation. And escape from this place as quickly as possible. Sounds like a plan. What was her name? That silver haired chick. Kitty Giddy? Kyoko Kitty Giddy. This name? What about her? She's not here. Is there someone else missing? She already dead? <laughs> no, she's, there's no way she's already dead. Hmm. Is she asleep? She dead? You need stabbing pounding gun. <laughs> All that wonderful stuff. No, there's no way they already had her die. Especially when there's so much to her, like, history we don't know about. So. Late on your first day. To not inform you in advance, it's a shirk your duty as a latecomer. <laughs> That's right, you tell him, Inoshima. You tell him what's up. The first regular Kibugami Academy informational assembly open. So, like, official for everything. So now we're just going to talk to everyone. I actually really love that we're teaming up with Maizona Sayaka. She's like such a nice, like, sweet girl. <laughs> Did it feel like I really was your sidekick? That's... That's so true, actually. <laughs> Reminds me of the Ace Attorney games, to be honest. An dependable sidekick than you, Maizona. It's better than the, like, Celeste girl, who's, like, super secretive or dark in fact. Um, so we'll start off by talking to... Can I talk to Leon? Oh, no, we can rotate around. That's cool. So let's start off by talking to Saika. See what she found out. So Miss I'll explain things for you. We all split up into groups. Okay. Togami and Ishimaru. React! I went looking for clues as to who might be behind all this. I guess, actually real quick interjection, I should say that this game isn't very action-based it seems like, so if that's not your type of game, don't worry about it. I appreciate the support if you're still interested, but um, it's not going to be a Mega Man, it's not going to be a Super Smash Bros. It's going to be more story-driven, it's going to be more dialogue, figuring things out. Uh, more mental and so you know if you want to have this on in the background while I explain things and talk things out That's okay. You don't have to always be 100% watching, but uh, of course if you do I, I always appreciate the attention so Thug, I mean I went looking for clues as to who might be behind this found nothing. That is all <laughs> That's all <laughs> had I found anything. I would have informed you of course understood Wakarimashita. Um, there was other stuff we could react to so um, Who else Ishimaru? I investigated the dormitory area, and there I made the discovery of the century. There's a room for each and every one of us. <laughs> There's a nameplate attached to each of the doors, saying whose room it is. Alright, Shrek. They were even so kind to provide us with keys with name tags. Which means I thought the room I was just in was mine. Our rooms look like they're totally soundproof too. Me and Fujisaki tested it out. If you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't remember which one is Fujisaki. Oh, this one. Oh, a little, little yurdy, yuri. Um, even screaming at the top of your lungs, you can't hear anything in the room next door. And they come with a wonderfully clean shower. There's even a lock on the shower door. Supposedly that's only for girls, though. I'm pretty sure my shower was locked when I checked it out. Yeah, that's something worth considering. We're actually gonna stay here. I'd rather have a room than not. <laughs> this way, we need not worry about fending for ourselves. So, is that like all you have to share? It doesn't seem likely, Mr. Honor Student. I finished my report. Okay. Cool. And then she said that Kitty Giddy also went on her own. Um, so let's see what else she has to say. To Kuwata, Hagaka, Hagakure, Inoshima, and Fujisaki stayed together. 
We checked out the iron plates on the windows and the halls in the classrooms. We figured one of them might, like, come loose or something, but... Oh, let's try to have to imitate her. Give her that, that typical voice. Game over, man. Game over. None of those things budge an inch. There's no way out. We really are trapped in here. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Who else? Ano Desne. So cute. Asahina and Ogami and Owada also work together. We looked around the school zone, thinking there might be some way to communicate with the outside. But we didn't find anything. Sorry. After that, we went back to the entrance hall, wanted to see if there was any way past that metal door. Me and Ogami together couldn't make it dent. We threw desks and chairs, but nothing. Thing's tough, man. Like, like iron. That would be because it is iron. Ooh, that's sass. <laughs> Celeste talking crap. Anyway, doesn't look like we'll be busting that thing head down anyway, or down head on. I feel like I could cry, but I'll be strong. Can't waste water in a situation like this. Not up. I will continue the report. <laughs> Though it is not to do with contacting the outside, I did find something of slight interest. There are staircases leading up in both the dormitory and the school zone. There are shutters in the way, so you can't go up. Couldn't find a switch or anything either. Hmm. It appears as though we are only permitted to explore the building's first floor. I thought Monokuma mentioned that there like weren't any restrictions on exploration though. There remains the possibility of further floors existing above the now inaccessible second, and thus the possibility of there being a way out. Okay, well, that's good to know. Not to mention, in like the very, very first cutscene, it looked like Despair Academy um, is like the classroom that, that took place in, and there were multiple floors, so that might be the case. Um, also worked together, as did Celeste, Fukawa, and Yamada. To be quite honest, we didn't so much work together as we did did nothing together. We were in the gymnasium the, uh, the entire time. Screwing around the building, searching for breadcrumbs, just isn't me. <laughs> we did nothing? Uh, and Oshima was like, calling her out. Nobody thought to invite me. <laughs> Nobody came up to me and said, let's go. It's not right making a pariah out of me. I don't even... Uh, this literary vocab, please. It's your problem. If you wanted to come along, you should have, like, said something. <laughs> Take that back. Who would want to be around such a... Whoa! Whoa! Shots fired! Oh my gosh! Cat fight? Women like you with your empty heads and cheap bodies make me physically ill. Holy cow, Fukawa needs to take a chill pill. He need to calm down. Surprises me. No, it blows my mind that you can talk so much crap about someone you just met. <laughs> Let's talk this out peacefully, dudettes. Getting so worked up is bad for your skin, okay? He's right, are you guys really such good friends that you can fight like that? I don't think that's what this is. My Zono is so cute. So, like, cutely oblivious. I've heard what everyone has to say. The only one who hasn't given a report yet is me. That's why I was talking to you first, too, ironically. Did we hear from Yamada? I guess not. Oh, can we just not even, like, can we not talk to the people individually? Oh, we have to talk through My Zono. Interesting. I invested in the cafeteria. There's a kitchen in the back, and the refrigerator there is packed full of food. Is it good food? Doesn't seem like we'll have to worry about going hungry at, le hungry at least. As bountiful as the slab of fly may be, it will only last but a few days with 15 of us. You can just eat seeds. <laughs> B.I. bird folk? <laughs> Look at his eyes! <laughs> oh my gosh. There's no need to worry. The fridge automatically restocks every day. Or so Monokuma says. You saw him? He appeared while I was inspecting the fridge. He said that and then ran off again. Having to be fast for me to believe he's really radio controlled. A teleporting weaponized ninja teddy bear. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be scary or silly. Probably a mix of both, depending on the context. In this context, I would say definitely scary. You're alright though, right? He didn't like try to eat you or anything? Eat? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by did he try to eat? Oh, easy Yamada san! Easy Yamada! <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> Watch it, Lardo. You're creeping way too hard. What are you, a drunken sleaze bag or something? <laughs> this is actually pretty funny. The dialogue is actually like really clever. I, I like it. Are you even paying attention? We've been in prison and we could be killed at any time. Chick's right. This ain't the time to be messing around. We seriously gotta do something. Next thing we knew, a voice rose up above the crowd, cutting him off mid sentence. Giddy giddy. They all sound like you're enjoying yourselves. <laughs> yep. Are you just that confident, or have you yet to accept the truth of our situation? What took you so long, Kitty Giddy? You are supposed to follow all the rules. I am Ishimaru, and I am the perfect uh, rule follower. I am the prefect. 
This is the something 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 assembly, and you're late. She's responded by wordlessly tossing a single sheet of paper onto the table. What's this? A map? A map of Kibogami A Academy? Wait, where did you get this? It was in a large treasure chest. When I reached in, I heard it. Does it really matter? Of course it does. Response like that only makes me all the more curious. More importantly, like, what's that give us? Based on this, it appears the building we're in is of the exact same design as Kibogamine Academy. So this is actually the real Kibogamine Academy? Structurally, at least. Though a number of unusual modifications appear to have taken place. Like, I was only able to get my hands on a map of the first floor, so I don't know the details. By get your hands on a map, do you mean you, like, obtained one in some way, or do you, like, make it yourself? Hmm. You're saying this is the school that fosters the leads for the country's future? Why aren't there any other students here? That's good. Good idea. You're not concerned, Hagakure, about all this. What's there to be concerned about, dude? There's just more scare tactics put on by the guys upstairs, right? If you're always letting stuff like this get to you, you'll start puking ectoplasm, dude. True is true. True is true. That's gonna be his thing. Good things come to those who wait, so we just need to wait for the show to end. Oh boy. Just let me know that some good came of us splitting up and investigating the building. Even let's say, in what universe does that constitute an investigation? Jeez, she's like super salty. Poor Fukuo-san. We found a way out. Nobody knows who did this to us, and our investigation is what told us that. Told us that it is the unimpeachable truth. Unimpeachable, interesting. That we are trapped in a sealed building with no means of escape. We can do nothing but sit in silence at our words. Yadi was staring at us in the eyes, but we kept trying to look away. Don't remind me. What are we supposed to do? We're trapped here with no way out. Simple. Do you want to leave? Kill someone. Togami, please. <laughs> Don't even joke about that. Guys, take it easy, please. Thank you, Myzono, for trying to lighten the mood, at least. We need to figure out what we're going to do, but we need to be calm about it. Anyone got any bright ideas? Says Kawada. He always looks so distressed. <laughs> adapt. Simply adapt to life here. You want us to just give up hope and accept that we're stuck here? The inability to adapt is the inability to survive. That is true. I feel like she's like trying to get or like get people to lower their guards and then she'd like be the one to kill them. She's definitely that type of character. It's not the strong or the clever who survive, it's those who are capable of change. And with that out on the table, I have a proposal for everyone. Oh boy. Proposal. We're trapped here, which means we must not only spend our days here, but also our nights. I'm sure everyone remembers the rules concerning nighttime. Yes. Certain areas are off limits. Do we know what they are? So we can only sleep in our own rooms. <laughs> so, no uh, interesting nights here. So suggest we impose another nighttime rule. You're forbidden from leaving your room during the nighttime. The school rules themselves do not enforce a curfew, but I believe it would be prudent. And why is that? In our current situation, we are destined to spend our nights here cowering in fear. Never able to dispel the thought that someone might be coming to kill you. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's very true that you could be killed in your own room. We'll all waste away here, jumping in every bump in the night. And this curfew would prevent that from happening? Unlike the regular school rules, this is not enforceable. It would require everyone's cooperation. Still, I think, I mean, like the goth chick said, if we don't establish our own rules, we're just going to bring each other down. It's fair. As the boys' representative, I have no objections. Since when are you the boys' representative? <laughs> yeah, who put you in charge? Everyone's in favor, then? Wonderful. In that case, I shall make my departure. Where you go? It's going to be nighttime. I thought I might take a shower before then. Take off all that ridiculous amount of makeup. Not that it doesn't look good, but like, <laughs> pleasant dreams. With an elegance to her gait, Celis left the cafeteria. So natural was her motion that no one even thought to step in and stop her. She's impressively calm and businesslike. Not a qualm about sleeping in a place like this. <laughs> Adaptability. Great ability. Great ability in Pokemon. <laughs> what now, Chairman? One person's already bailed on us. Ah, yes. Very well, that should suffice for today's assembly. Nighttime is nigh upon us. We must prepare ourselves for another day. Do we really have to sleep here? I guess so. <laughs> Shogat and I. Let us like wear ourselves out if we don't sleep. One thing we can do today is call it quits. That hair is so funny. <laughs> we may have made it through one day, but what about tomorrow? Our only option is to continue what we started today. Should a new discovery be made, we can reconvene. Sounds good. Let's call it a night. I'm pretty tired, too. And then everyone began the slow trudge toward the first night within the academy walls. Slowly accepting the harsh reality. Nagi, we'd better get going, too.
What do you mean, we? I mean, we're not allowed to sleep in each other's rooms. It's a, it's a Monokuma rule. But if you really want, it might be worth it to break that rule. <laughs> so now I'd imagine I'm back in my room. Am I really going to sleep in this room? Oh yeah, before I go to bed, I need to check the shower again. One of the girls' rooms were supposed to have locks, right? Alright, um... Let's, let's check this lock. What's up with that? Alright, let's open her up. Rattle, rattle, rattle. Why is our door locked? Especially, like, on the other side, you know? Oh, hey, it's a Monokuma. It's not locked. Hmm? You're overreacting. It's like you've seen somebody's ghost. <laughs> the situation went saying, it's like you've seen some bear's ghost. Don't be more accurate. Please. It's an abomination. Abomination. Conflagration. Obliteration. Exodia obliterate. Actually, as it turns out, the door to your shower is just misaligned. The door won't open, not because it's locked, but because it's not aligned right. Read my information. Do you not know how to read? <sighs> Shade. Boys don't get locks for the showers. Besides, even if you had a lock, it wouldn't do any good. Well, it might do some good, but I'm not really up to speed on that kind of stuff. Hmm? Secret to opening that misaligned door of yours. I came here to tell you that. Ready? Pull up on the knob as you twist, then try to open the door. Give her a go. Pull up on the knob as I twist. I did as he said, and was able to open and close the door without any trouble. <laughs> Why is this part of the game? <laughs> Wait, isn't that kind of funny? You got the only door that wasn't aligned properly. Oh, so we are supposed to be the super duper high school luxster. Now that's what I call irony. Alright, now I'm gonna leave all of Rough Life. This big bear got some fangs that need to assess the, the casual speech. That's pretty funny. So he can appear anywhere. Alright, so that marks probably the end of the first day here. Um, and we've been playing for a bit, so... We'll see what happens the next day in the next episode. If you've been enjoying this, be sure to hit that like button. It really shows me uh, continued support for this series. I'm enjoying the game, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. But until then, this has been Midnight Zero, and this mission is complete. Dun, 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 dun.